All right, so in the world settings, we had dropped the dropped items multiplier back down to one. And just in case we did it with the gatherable items multiplier as well as to simulate a normal server or a normal game. So the numbers are flat. Let's get into it. All righty, today we are talking about the Elephydrin, Elephydra, Elephydra whatever you want to call it, the water version of this dude. They have the same ability as Pen King, and we're going to go and test them out, see what we get, and see if we get uh, some more stuff. So we'll get a basis and use that as our control. We'll go kill 20, the Vermintide, Vermintide, Jesus, Van Worms, and kill 20 of the Yormintide Ignis. We'll get a basis off of that, and then we will go from bottom to top, starting with a zero all the way up to a four, which we're going to have to combined into that but yeah you get it and 20 how many did we get 47 all right let's go get some bone all right it's 20 we got 29 no telling what kind of speed we're actually gonna get off this thing i want to see if this is even like possible is this making me drown at all <laughs> it's apparently not uh-oh Oh, that was kind of scary. Okay, so uh, we found out something new here. <laughs> and you can, in fact, run across the ocean. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Even though that goes a lot deeper, it, it in fact does not. I mean, I ran across the water and it didn't stop me. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> this is the goofiest thing. We're over here on the island with this uh, very fast Leviathan. I can still use my shotgun, so I want to see what this myth mystic whirlwind does. Mystic whirlwind. All right, what do you got? Oh, it's that. Okay. And it didn't even hit anything. Nice. All right, well, the first bit's done. Holy stuff. 64. 20. All right, what's the count, Jerry? 41. If you can't tell, I'm slowly losing my mind riding this thing. So now it's time for the one star. The, the one star, thank God it has runner at least. It has no legend, but it has runner. The other one has legend and runner. So we'll be able to move a little bit faster. Thank God. You know, out of all the times to find one, I'm a little disappointed that it was you. All right, what's the count? 76. All right, what do we got? 46. All right, time for the two star. We got our 20, we got 82. Directly to the bone. How many did we get? 45. Even with just legend on it, it is a lot better than the base l speed level thing slower than L. Thank God. How many did we get? 95. What do we get? 52. All right, we're on the final one. Holy mother of God. <gasps> it happened there he is you can't this up for me it happened oh my god it happened <laughs> oh my god it happened come here you big beautiful bastard everything in its grandmother's coming after me <laughs> I got him! Yes! I don't even care. I lost count of everything and it had Artisan on it already. <laughs> oh, look at him in all of his glory. I can't believe I got him. Look at him. Oh, I'm so happy. And he came with Artisan already on him. This is just unbelievable. All right, well, back to the testing. 96, straight to the bone. 
How many did we get? 58. So, in conclusion, is the Elephant, Elephandran, Ele how do you say it? Elephydra, Elephi, Elephydran, Elephino, Agua, is it worth it? Um, I would say yes, just for the simple fact that you can ride it in comparison to Pen King. A lot of switching back and forth with Pen King. I would strongly suggest getting movement speed perks all the way through. Forget Musclehead and Ferocious just grab a shotgun decent shotgun ar whatever you have and then take and drop muscle head and ferocious and add swift and nimble and just have a full sprinters run with it if you're going to run this all in all i didn't do too bad it was about the same as the pin king there was few variations but not enough to write home about and it was just basis off of the drops themselves um nonetheless i'm I'm happy <laughs> i still can't believe i got this uh just for reference i have 30 days 14 hours and 46 minutes in this game and i have never seen one out of the three worlds that i've done and i finally got one i think there might be a bit of a method to it as well because the other day i did the same thing with pin king with the running back and forth between the island and the area that i was doing the van worms at and i started started with the van worms doing the bones and then I went over and I did the other stuff and in the midst of that I found a lucky van worm and a lucky dire howl going back and forth like that so today I was like well I found them both over when I was doing the van worm stuff so what if I reverse the order in which I'm doing it would it then appear luckies on the island and it did because I got the lucky wampo and I got the lucky Yormantide Ignis today. So there's something with spawning back and forth that triggers the luckies to spawn, I think. Something to that degree, maybe time spent in an area, but I don't even think it's time spent in an area because I've spent four hours on that island prior just flying around it and killing Yormantides and never even saw one. I even did it when I was catching them trying to get my build for my Yormantide and I caught like 60 or 70 Yormantides and it never happened. So it's something with the back and forth of how many times I spawn to trigger in the luckies to spawn, I think. So there's something with that. I know it is because the simple fact that I reversed what I did today and I got two luckies today over on the island versus the two luckies that I got yesterday on the little part where I had the van worms at, right? over here this whole area the van worm i found right here and then the dire howl i think i found over here so they weren't too far from each other when i spawned over here i went directly to the island started killing off stuff and eventually it would pop up so that's there's something to that i think i could be crazy but you know what i'm happy as far as is it worth it for the elephandra hydra elevate or what uh elephi no hydra or not ele I have words aqua if you're specifically looking to get firepower stuff i guess it could be to upgrade it but even with that it's not very good as a water pal there's better alternatives as far as its ability to get stuff it's not bad i mean it's the same as pen king but pen king you get earlier on and you can upgrade them just as quick with the elephydra aqua you have to have a elephydra in at first and then that has to breed be bred specifically with a serpent now you could breed for those and get them and then do it that way but the pen king does the same thing and you're able to just get him and you're able to catch him multiple times because he's only level 15 over at his little spot and a lot of the eggs that you get especially a lot of the like the water eggs that you get at the beginning have a chance to pull him which i had done several times early early game when i was egg hunting and everything but you could pull you pull him quite often from damp eggs if you enjoy the video please drop a like and if you enjoy my content please drop a sub other than that keep your willy washed and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out